David Morgan with you with the Metals Investment Forum in Toronto, Canada, March 2020. Mike Connard, Diesel Resources. Hi. Hi. <laughs> good to have you. Yeah, good so to be here. So where is Vizla and what are you doing? So Vizla has consolidated the uh, Pinuco Copala District in southern Sinaloa, Mexico. And uh, we're exploring it for the first time uh, ever and uh, towards a production decision on an option, basically. So what's the background of like your management? Have you guys, this is the first time, this is something you've done for years and years. Let's give us a management run. Yeah, exactly. So our team uh, is very wide ranging in terms of our proficiencies. Um, myself, I have a business background, been in the business uh, since uh, the peak of 2011. So uh, basically building businesses uh, in the downturn up until now. Um, and uh, my chairman, Craig Perry, uh, corporate and geology background, uh, founder of Next Gen Energy, uh, also founder of EMR Capital um, and chairman of Skeena Resources. Uh, and also on the board, we have Simon Smerlick, who's a COO, uh, one of the main uh, forces behind Osenko Engineering. So very wide-ranging um, group of, of you know, people and talents. Uh, we have other directors with, uh, with geology uh, experience and um, advisors as well to uh, Yale Simpson and, and Bryce Roxborough from Exeter and Xtory. Mm. Yale's pretty well known. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what's, the, uh, what's your capital structure right now? You guys just did a raise recently. Yeah, we closed a $6 million financing in December. Uh, we have 58 million shares out, uh, common shares out, 74 fully diluted. Of that, uh, the people that I mentioned previously owned about 25%, uh, 40% is owned by institutions and, uh, and high net worth investors. Great. You want to name a few institutions? Sure. We had uh, K2 come in in the last financing as well as Commodity Capital. Okay. Yeah. And what mineral or minerals are you looking for? Looking for silver and gold. Uh, so this is a silver and gold epithermal vein field that compares to, uh, to the other famous ones in Mexico uh, and we're the first group to consolidate it. Right. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Is this a green field, brown field? What's the situation? Don't you have some background about this area already? Yeah, it's very interesting. In, <laughs> in a sense, it's, uh, it's, it, it's kind of new exploration in a brown fields area that's, that's never been uh, really explored or, or even mapped. We're the first group in its 450-year uh, history of, the, of, this, of this mining district to actually do a geological map. Um, but they've been producing significantly over the years. There's 35 kilometers of underground workings. There's a 500 ton per day mill that we have an option on. There's roads. There's power. Uh, it's at the same time a, uh, a you know an established mining district that's never been explored. Mm -hmm. um, so what we're doing is we're, we're actually starting from the ground up and uh, we're creating those, those geological information, you know, the maps, uh, the sampling database, but we're also aggressively exploring too. So we have um, a drill program underway. We're gonna be drilling 14,500 meters this year, uh, which we're fully funded for. And uh, so what we're doing is attempting to uh, put together, uh, you know, the resources on the property that'll justify us buying all the production infrastructure and being, uh, becoming a silver producer. It's a bit of a challenge for the company as far as People that are already there pulling goodies out of the ground. Uh, not not so much actually. It's it's funny because uh, the the district is 15 kilometers by eight kilometers. Uh, if you were to stack every vein that we have on top of each other, it'd be 75 kilometers, about 50 50 miles of total vein extent. Uh, the production that that's operating there right now is on a very small area, and we have um, we've made new discoveries that are that are excluded from any production. That, you know, the group can't produce, and it's a small scale producer um, that's operating there. So you know, for us, we're, we're pretty comfortable working in there. We're making new discoveries. We're drilling outside of the, the known areas. So, um, you know, we're, we're quite comfortable with that. Good. I want to make that clear because some people get really excited about this yeah. type of situation. Yeah. So where do you see yourself a year out or two years out? Well, in two years, I certainly think we've executed the option. Uh, we're very, coming very close to execute the option to become a producer. Um, I think we're moving very close to that in the next year or two years. Okay, great. Yeah. What are your thoughts on the silver market? I get asked that question all the time. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I'm, I'm absolutely bullish on, on the price of silver and gold. Um, I think there may be a little bit of pain coming up here. Of course, it's March of 2020, and uh, you know we just had the, uh, the crash over the last few days. But um, I, I'm very bullish. I think it's going to respond very well in the way it's supposed to in the in the coming months, and uh, and I look forward to that. Look forward to that. Well, as you know, Mexico is one of the main producers of silver globally. And uh, there have been, you know, some suggestions by others in my field about um, 
the new political system, I should say system, but the new uh, lead politicians in Mexico currently. Uh -huh. What's your idea on, you know, how much risk there is on a geopolitical basis? I mean, risk exists everywhere. I don't want to overplay it or underplay it. What's the company's position? Well, we're, we're more than happy to operate in, in Mexico where we're operating. We have good relationship with the government there. I've met with them in the capital city of the state a number of times. We have their full support. Uh, silver is so important to the, the economy, um, especially in northern Mexico, that I, I just don't see um, there being any major disruption. Uh, we're, we're, th we're, we're projecting that it'll stay basically the same as it is right now. Of course, there's chatter on either side in most countries, and, and, and in a lot of cases, it's mostly just chatter. Right. Okay, good. Yeah. Well, I think we've covered the basics. Is there anything we haven't discussed you'd like uh, our viewers to know? Well, I think um, keep an eye out for, for initial drill results. And um, I want to also stress in light of the, the market conditions that we're fully funded. And uh, we have a team that's, uh, you know, that's very capable of guiding this, this company through any type of uh, you know, downturn in the market. Well, thank you so much for your time. Appreciate okay. it. Thank you.